Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, Ninja Who Died of Ligma, and today we're talking about New Year's Eve, New Year's, um, just overall a year in review for stuff. I am aware that I was not uh, here to give you uh, a, a good old, in my opinion, last week. I, um, you know, maybe I need a break sometimes. Maybe it's New Year's Eve and, and I just wanted to relax. You ever think about that? You ever think I work too hard? Huh? Huh? Stupid bitch. Anyway, um, I just wanted to bring up some stuff that bothered me uh, this year. And actually on New Year's, it was kind of inspiration for this um, episode. So uh, we'll talk about it. Pretty much uh, the point I wanted to get across, and it's like kind of a broad spectrum of things this time. Um, the concept being that uh, New Year's Eve um, is pretty awful as far as a popularity contest. I don't care to see... Ariana Grande or Christina Aguilera or some stupid bitch or Mariah Carey, just someone stupid who I could give two shits about who had a great year this year could care less. Um, I just want to spend time, I don't even want to spend time with family. I mean, New Year's Eve is not really anything big. There's nothing really you do for fun. You kind of just, I don't know, I guess I'm over New Year's. Like you kind of just sit around and kind of just bum around until 12 o'clock it's a survival it's, it's a it's a it's an iron man challenge you you sit there and try to be like can i stay up until this fucking 12 o'clock at night so i could be around for the fucking new year who the fuck cares i'm sorry the point i was trying to get across is that we have a short attention span when it comes to a whole fucking year that the uh i don't know who did it or what it was ranked at or where wherever this fucking came from but but pretty much um what happened was I heard a list of basic songs that were uh, top 10 or top whatever, top top 5 or whatever, top songs of 2018. Them being three songs that came out in the past two months is fucking ridiculous. It makes me mad as far as a, a person who very much enjoys music, even it being number three. I don't know what this list is. It got me mad because I could see people doing this and thinking this is an okay fucking list. Um, considering that number three was one of my favorites, Post Malone, I don't get why this is such a big fucking deal to just, to just think, oh, well, this is okay. Fucking Halsey, fucking Ariana Grande, and fucking Post Malone, all songs that came out in the past couple months. Maybe two. I want to say two months. It makes it more shocking. And it pisses me off more. Because people are stupid, and you're stupid, and I'm just angry. I'm just angry in this new year because it's just pointless. It's pointless to fucking bother. You know, who the fuck gets to judge what the top fucking songs of 2018 are? Like, fucking, f go fuck yourself. That being said, I did watch uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, speaking of Post Malone, he, his song that was, I think, number three was uh, uh, one for the soundtrack. Um... And it's a good song. I like it. It's not the point. The point is, is it's fucking stupid to sit there and tell me that the three top songs on the fucking New Year's, New Year's Eve or whatever fucking list of, of, of people, people who, who, who fucking had the greatest songs of this year are, are going to be fucking three people who are, who, who have three songs that were out this month. I'm making the time span shorter and shorter as we go because I'm really fucking annoyed at it. Anyway point is new year's i don't drink you see where that could be a problem for me i don't see the point of new year's besides trying to like i said stay up until a certain point and fucking just tell everybody happy new year or or, or kiss somebody um i i don't think i can't remember the last time besides this year that i kissed someone on new year's eve um i'm not even sure if i did that at all um i might have i don't remember but my point is is that it's just a just a pointless holiday. I'd rather just skip it. I'd rather skip all of it. The only fun thing I got to see was Bastille perform live and spend time doing nothing with my girlfriend. And, and that that is the part that I enjoyed. That is the part. That is the only part. Bastille and my girlfriend. Bastille and my girlfriend. She made me cookies. It was great. The point is, is that I just I just don't I don't see the point of New Year's Eve into New Year's. Like even New Year's in general. New Year's Eve pointless because I just don't see the point in all of it I mean maybe it's lost on me because I am I'm not into um, 
excessive drinking or just drinking casually in general. Drinking in general, I'm not into it. Uh, it's not something I do. It's not something I do, and that's what I see people doing. I do uh, every year a bottle of Martinelli's sparkling cider, and I fucking just drink that bitch by myself. And I did it at this year too. I don't know if I drank the rest of this bottle. I don't honestly remember. I just remember being super fucking tired because I'm an old fucking man now. My joints hurt all the time. I'm just going to be cranky for this, This, in my opinion. My point is is that New Year's seems very pointless. I sit there and watch other people have fun in New York City because they're fucking rich and famous and, and, and doing well for themselves. Not the people on the ground. Not the people who are in New York. Just the people that are showing off. Like, oh, you had a good year. Let's, let's um... Let's fucking, let's fucking talk about you. Let's have you perform on stage. Let's just fucking, let's promote fucking The Voice. Or fucking talk about how, how great your album was this year. Who the fuck cares? That being said, I did enjoy Bastille's performance. I would love to see them in concert. Um, if you have not listened to Bastille and you enjoy uh, kind of like an alternative sound, you should definitely check out Bastille. They sing the Pompeii song. Um... They sing uh, Dan Smith, the singer, is in the Marshmallow song, which, again, got so much fucking play because it's fucking such a pop culture or whatever the fuck it is. It's just a pop culture or zeitgeist or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's just fucking annoying to me because I don't see it as being that good of a thing to enjoy. You know, I just don't, I don't find it to be a fun atmosphere where I'm having fun and talking about how great my life is. I'm sorry. I'm not even that upset. I'm not even that, like, disappointed or anything. Like, I, there's nothing going on in my life that I should be honorably pissed off about. But I guess since it's the end of the year and I want to bitch about something, I might as well just bitch about this. I just find it to be fucking stupid. And that's it. That's all I wanted to say. My point was is that I find people's uh, childish, small, unimportant things to be stupid. And New Year's Eve is one of those things where people lavish them and show them off. And that's why I don't like it. I have no problem with New Year's Eve in general. It's just people just being fucking douchebags and thinking that everyone wants to fucking watch them on TV. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Listening. Whatever. Bye. Love you. It's, it's very consumery. Um, consumerism. All that good shit. Um, but I enjoy it because of the fact that I like to make people happy. Not so much I like to, um, you know, 